Hi, Neil G here. We're going to talk about virtual hosts today on OS X and web sharing. So if you've listened to a couple of my other videos, you'll have your own web sharing set up. And today, let's talk about how to get a virtual host set up. So at the moment, I'm connected to, to the web and I've got um, my Socinet site coming up on the real site. And I want to change that to have a local virtual host. So the first thing we need to do is open the terminal and we need to edit the main Apache file. So as a sudo nano, etc. And it's Apache 2 httpd.com. So we open that file up and what we're looking for is a line that starts with vhost. So we can do a search by control W and then put in vhosts, enter that, and it, it lands on the line exactly there. So we just need to uncomment that line and then save that, write that out, control zero, and then save the name, return, and exit. So that now allows us to use virtual host, and we're going to include the virtual host. So this file is sudo nano, and it's in more or less the same place, really. It's etc. Apache 2 and it's extra and it's httpd vhosts.conf so if we open that here are the settings for the virtual hosts and there is a, a dummy one in there there's two dummy ones in there so you can just copy those and put your own settings in um, I have got a slightly longer directive so here it is here um, and I've got the server name, socking at the alias to get www. And I've set a path for my document root. So here I'm going to put it in my sites folder in a folder called Socinet. And I'm also going to create an error log in this path um, and a custom log here. So I've got my error and my access log. And then uh, my admin and my HT access um, permissions. So this is available on my site as well. You can just copy that and then change what you need to change. So copy the whole chunk and then paste it at the bottom of your virtual host file. And then write that out. So just control zero, turn and exit. Now that should be all. So let's just restart Apache. So sudo Apache TTL start sorry one more thing what we have to do the most important thing actually is we have to change the host file now as well so sudo etc hosts because what this is going to do it's going to tell tell us sudo nano sorry it's going to tell the machine where to look for for the website so we're going to point it to our local address 127.0.0.1 so I'll just grab that that snippet here as well so I'm gonna make the website and the alias www point to 127 so just copy that paste it in and then write that out control zero exit so now if I refresh this I should now have my virtual host which I don't and it doesn't work because we need to reset the cache so if I go into Safari preferences actually not preferences just into reset Safari and just clear history and remove website data in this browser they'll be different for other browsers click on reset and so just punch it in again um, socinet.com and there it is. So that's now going to my direct, the directory that I specified, both the, um, the URL with and without the www. And that was specified in my sites folder. I created a directory called Socinet, and in there is my index file, which is just 
simple. So you just put your files files in there. So that's basically how you create a, um, a virtual host. Uh, one of the problems with this is that you lose your initial document root, which is localhost. Um, and if you still rely on that, you can actually get that back. So there is a snippet of code, which is the, uh, the first virtual host that has to be declared, um, which is localhost is a server name, and then we set the document root to library web server documents, which is where it actually is. So if we just copy that snippet and then go back into the virtual host file, and then just below the virtual host declarations, if we just get to that point, paste it in, and then write that out, control zero, and then control X, and then restart Apache, which is sudo Apache CTL restart. And now if I scroll back here and reload it, I've got the local host back and my vhost is still working as well. So that's how you set up virtual hosts and retain your original web root as well for local host. And that, that will, this is actually done in 10.9, so it will work in 10.8 and 10.7. That's about it. Thank you. Come again.